24 years now. <laughs> I have been dancing since I was five. Um, that's when I first uh, went to my first class. So that is about 16 years. It's Latin American, disco, rock and roll. Um, and then obviously a wee, like, couple of years later, um, when street started to kind of get bigger, um, we did different street dance classes. And um, towards my teenage years, that's kind of all I wanted to concentrate on. So that's why nowadays that's predominantly what we do, is all hip hop. Recently we had uh, Levy and Lavon came in and did a crumpton workshop, which is something that we've never done or learned before. So it was like a new style that um, they're experts in. So they came in and taught us and the kids. Um, we've had Gigi come in, who is a contemporary dancer, but she does a lot of like fusion between contemporary and hip hop. So she came in and taught us a piece as well. Um, we've done break dancing with Rudy from One Blood Crew. So basically people who maybe specialise in other styles that maybe we've not done quite as much of. We'll bring them in to teach the kids so that they're getting a, a varied um, amount of styles and um, obviously learning from somebody different as well. It's always good to um, different techniques and different uh, learning styles. Obviously I do really enjoy dancing but it's the feeling that you get after it, after a performance, after a show, after even um, a show with the kids and you've watched them dancing um, and you've watched them get better and improve and do their thing. Um, and grow in confidence, and it always makes you feel really good. Two tone skin tone, yeah, I'm kind of grown. She asking, is it black or white? But y'all don't know. The world don't stop unless we press pause. The world don't stop unless we press pause. On the dance floor, getting naughty. Whispered in my ear, said she got something for me. She finna get it, yeah, it's a sheep party. She finna get it, yeah, yeah, it's a sheep party. I told Shotty, back it up and drop it. Hey. She said, nah, but I... I had just finished university and I studied business and languages. Um, for a year of my, um, as part of my university degree, I had to spend a year in Spain um, and I was teaching English as a foreign language and I'd never considered teaching as a career, um, but I really, really enjoyed it. And the one thing that I really, really missed as well when I was away was dancing. And at the time I would phone on a daily basis and speak to Kim because she ran classes while she was here or helped out at classes. She was very young, um, but she was given a big responsibility of taking over the classes that I used to take. Um, so we used to speak regularly mm -hmm. about dancing. It was always about dancing. Um, so when I came back, um, I think it was just, there was no big discussion. It was just a natural step to take um, to mix the, the, the business with the teaching and with the dancing. Um, I'd missed it so much that it just seemed the right thing to do. And hip-hop uh, was just very current at the time. Um, I trained in Latin American and disco and rock and roll, but in the last two years I had started to do a lot more um, hip-hop and street and I started taking classes and really, really enjoyed it. I um, started taking classes to do in the West End and decided that was the best way forward. The style that we do now is absolutely fantastic. You know, it really gets you going, it gets you out there. Um, and it does, it makes you feel fantastic, it really does. I love it, love it to bits. <laughs> We're so similar um, and we spend so much time together that you don't need to think what the other person thinks or ask their opinion because we already know and we both agree on things and we both want the same. Um, I think we're just so similar that we're able to work together without any, well, too many arguments or uh, much discussion because we just already know. We can almost read each other's minds 
we work so closely together um, and most of the time we do go on really well that there's no elaborate discussions, there's no, um, well, I'd say many arguments um, and we can finish each other's sentences so you get things done in a, a lot quicker. It also means that we spend a lot of time together um, mm -hmm. and running up to shows etc um, which can be really, really stressful. Um, just a, li a little bit then, just a little bit. Little bit. <laughs> we're working together then, we are going out for family meals together, we are spending time with families together during the day, um, we're literally on top of each other, so sometimes it's nice to have a little break. I see um, them more often than I probably do most of my friends and family, um, in particular the competitors and there's some members of the adult class who I've become very friendly with and again I probably spend more time with them um, than I do a lot of my other friends because you see them every week um, and you have that shared um, common interest. I think it was this year anyway. We had no, it wasn't. It was last year. <laughs> Did we start again? <laughs> right, okay. Um, hi, guys. <laughs> um, this last year, <laughs> we, we, had, we, ha we had the privilege to dance at Laurie's Chris, Chris's <laughs> wedding. <laughs> By the way, not, not one. I'm just getting married. I was just being a bit cheeky. Um, <laughs> I can't say that on the BBC channel just in case. We um, got to dance at Laura and Chris's wedding. And it, was it was such a privilege. Well, we had um, just eaten our meal and for the first time in the whole day and the only time that I went to the toilet, um, I met one of my dancers as I was coming out and the poor thing um, looked at me in horror and said, um, I'm not here and ran away, um, which did give the game away, but it was a really lovely surprise. Um, they danced out in the lawns, it was a really, really nice day luckily, so the, the younger group and also the older group did a little short performance for us and at the end they um, took out a banner saying welcome to the BB family. I think it went unnoticed until I actually watched the photos back because I got quite emotional. Um, wasn't looking my best by that point in the day, <laughs> looking a little bit worse for wear. Um, but yeah, it was really, really nice of them to come all the way through and do it for us. There's a lot of extra work that goes on. Um, I don't know whether or not the dancers or a lot of the families perhaps come along and see the shows or attend the competitions realise just how much work sometimes goes in um, to running these events. Uh, the competitions are a lot of extra practice, um, a lot of work gets done on positionings and mixing music and things like that. For the show, because it's our event and we're having to run it, there's a lot of other things that have to be done as well. Um, so we had to attend meetings um, with the theatre um, to organise helpers, um, to organise the lighting and programme that in, to have all the music uh, ready and mixed and handed in beforehand, um, to organise the allocation of changing rooms, um, to organise all of the costumes, mm. which can be a complete nightmare sometimes, especially with our particular groups. Um, there are some people who are where adult sizes, you know, are almost at of an adult age. And then in the same group, you have someone who is perhaps uh, 12 or 13, but or the same age, but are just really, really small and still in kids' clothes. Um, so trying to find a good mix or the right clothes that fit everybody, it can prove very, very difficult. You do get to do lots of competitions and shows and... You get to, like, go places with everyone. So, like, you all make friends and stuff. Um, my favourite show was 
2013 one, because, well this one, because it was fantastic. I most enjoyed the show bit when we done our solo talk. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 